Let's talk about radicals with negative radicands. So the radicand is a thing underneath the radical symbol. And we see we have two of them right here. Okay, negatives in the radicand. Now, the square root of 25 we know is just 5. Because 5 squared gives me 25. 5 times itself gives me a 25. What number times itself gives you a negative 25? Well, that, that doesn't exist. It can't happen. If it's a positive 5 times positive 5, we'd get a positive 25. And if it's a negative 5 times negative 5, we wouldn't get a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. So for right now, we say that this is not a real number. Okay, later we're going to find out that it is an imaginary number. And if anyone is familiar with the C.S. Lewis books, you can think of this as Narnia, right? An imaginary world. But for right now, you just say not a real number. And it's not. It's not a real number. It's an imaginary number. So when we look at the cube root of 27, just for reference, you know that that is 3 times 3 times 3 gives you 27. So the answer is 3. Now ask yourself, what would happen if I had negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3? Well, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. And a positive 9 times negative 3 is a negative 27. So if we're multiplying something 3 times, if your index is a 3 or an odd number, then this negative inside is OK. So the answer to this, what is the cubed root of negative 27? The answer is negative 3. Because negative 3 times itself 3 times will give you a negative. So as a general rule, if your index is an even number and you see a negative inside, it's not going to be a real number. But if your index is an odd number, like 3 or 5 or 7, then you're okay. You're going to get a real number answer.